Hello everybody and welcome back to Fallout 4. Now today we're going to change it up a little bit. I figure this is a great time for me to start the Let's Build series. We've got enough stuff. We're going to be able to grab food from Grey Garden here and then we can head back to Sanctuary and start building. So let's just go ahead and get started. See if any of these have any mute fruit we can grab. Don't mind me, guys. It's a brand new brand new car. <laughs> Get some corn. There's some mute fruit. Potatoes. More mute fruit. Even got little sprayers. That's pretty cool. Corn, melon, actually I don't, carrots, but the melons I don't Brown, like to darling, plant much. I need you to pick something up for me the next time a trader visits. Yes, what's that then? Bone to sheer attachment is getting a little dull. We need <laughs> to replace at least one of the blades. Crazy robots. I to acquire I'm sure you're Yeah, let's see. That's what I wanted. Now we can go. Houses would be a good place to set up some beds. That's what I'm here for, finally, Sturgis. But it's dark out, so let's go into our old house here. Let's set up a bed here for ourselves. See what kind of bed we want. Probably go with this one. I, I like this one better than any of the other ones. A lot of them are pretty dirty or they're just too futuristic. Yeah, I think I'll go with this one. Let's position it here. Got in just in time. It's pouring down out there, it sounds like. Yep. Storming outside. And the farm, Abernathy farm is under attack, so I've got to go take care of that. Let's go, boy. They're real close. We can run over there on foot. As soon as you try to build stuff, they pull you away. And I can hear gunshots already. Yep, there's a bunch of them. You leave these people alone. Oh, look at them kicking people. You did what you had to do. These scumbags deserve it. And I'm gonna give, these guys have no defense. Let's see if we can just give them a turret or something. Yeah, there you go. We'll bring you more when we can, guys. So we took care of those raiders. Now what's our first job here? I know we've got the bench. Store junk in there. Now...
beds. So, now we've got our bed in there. Let's actually do some in here, because everybody hangs out in here anyway. Don't take offense to Marcy. She's working through the loss in her own way. Oh, I don't mind. She's crazy like... Oh, there she is. <laughs> She's crazy like everybody else. Mama Murphy, they're all crazy here. Guess it's just to be expected. place up a bit I can replace any fixtures with cleaner fixtures so I usually don't build bathrooms so if you guys want me to I will I guess um, I'm totally not opposed to it matter of fact I need more ideas for what to make in certain rooms anyway I kind of bored of the stuff I'm already building so yeah let me know what you think I should do with those rooms if use them as just extra rooms or should we use the mods I've got and actually craft some stuff in there, uh, sinks and toilets and stuff that are clean. So let's put a bed. As a matter of fact, what, we, what I like to use here are these bunk beds, because you actually get two, two beds from them, of course, but they will use them Actually, I don't see him use the top bunk, but it does count as two, so there you go. Get that better place there. So we're up to six beds. Looks like that's already enough, but I'm gonna go. I I know if you put beds too close to each other, like if you put them all in one building, that it can affect the happiness unless they've updated that in a patch. So I will spread them out a little bit. I'm gonna put some beds over here in this front yard. No, I'd go put them in a, in a house, of course. milk bottle breakdown pork and beans pork and beans we'll keep that the chair is okay so we will keep it and I know this is moving quick but I'm just arbitrarily moving stuff just to kind of clean it up a bit Let's have a cleaner place to work with. Hey, gods. What's that? Some scissors fell. Contents transferred to workbench, so it looks like there was some... I should have looted that chest, but that's okay. And this is what I was looking for. Let's make our beds here. Couple here. Nice. I'm happy with that. We got 10 beds. We're ready for some growth. Let's go talk to our guy here. <laughs> Hammering away on that vent. <laughs> if anyone's played this game, that that stupid fan vent there gets hammered on all the time. They love it. They're always working on it. That thing should look either beat to hell or shiny new. Since it's always getting hammered on. Hey, Sturgis. I like it. Having a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits. What we need now is a reliable source of clean water. What do you mean? Like a well. They won't have to keep drinking the river water. That stuff's not good for you. <laughs> no, that stuff wasn't good for you before the war, even. So... That's our next quest. Let's head to the water then. 
I think this is, yeah, this is just telling us workshop. We don't need to use the workshop. We need to go down to the water's edge. And down here is where we will set up camp. Clean it up first, of course. Ooh, first aid. stuff too might as well get the materials while we're here gosh that water looks awesome brads look out so I think right in here will work fine this is where it starts getting deeper here so probably right in there so let's pull up our resources water and we'll drop one of these smaller purifiers right in next to the wall because we're going to power it off of a generator right up there. So we need two for that one. So we can just build a small generator for him and upgrade it later. There we go, powered up. There's the man. We got water now. I feel better already, knowing we have a reliable supply of clean water. I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help, but our food supplies are running low. If we're gonna settle here, we'll need to get some crops established. I got you covered there. Good deal. Fresh from the Grey Garden. Right here. Mute fruits. assign someone. I don't think we can assign useless Mama Murphy. Let's put June on it. Or not June, but Marcy. I can't? What the heck? Sign her? That's weird. Why wouldn't it let me assign Marcy? I've had her work on my. Yeah, I think it will, her. Yeah. There we go. Is he inside? No, he's outside. We got food. This uh, place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. What sort of defenses did you have in mind? 
Walls, sandbags, turrets, whatever you can put together. Hmm, okay. Take a look at our defense stuff. Let's put one guard post by here, because this is where all the main houses are, my house, and all, yeah, this is kind of where everybody's at. And now we've got to assign someone to it. And I'm actually going to assign Preston to it. Because he's already roaming around. And he's better armed than everyone else here. And then I think we'll put a turret down by the water. So we can actually have it protecting both our new water treatment stuff. And the front bridge there. does walk down here. I don't see him though. Well, we'll put June on it. He just wanders around crying, so. Oh, and I didn't place that turret. That's okay, it's right over here. Right on this, this will get good coverage of both. Cool, I was hoping I had enough to make one. Perfect, that'll cover both. And I still need to just clean houses. So many of them are full of stuff. Probably even stuff I can loot. Hey Sturgis. Thanks for doing that. We'll all sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road, but yeah. I think this is it. Home. Feels good. What next? Well, I guess figuring out how to get back to living, instead of just surviving. Of course you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Windows too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. <laughs> I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. See you, Sturgis. Cool, so we've opened this place up. It's starting to get dark, so building's not, it's not gonna be the best time for that, but we can do some cleaning and scavenging. This whole place can be cleaned up here, which is awesome because then we get another nice platform to work with. And any of the trees that I take down, I can replace with nicer, better trees. I can replace street lights with better street lights. I've got a lot of settlement mods that let us build some really neat stuff. So if you see me deleting something and you're like, oh, I like using those, just say something. I can probably replace it with something even nicer or the same. What do we got here? Yeah. You like those tires, boy? <laughs> this all looks decent here. Don't 
need the tray. That chair is busted. That's not a comfy chair. The pictures, I can put better pictures up. Dog food. And we just leveled up. So I'm actually going to take this chance to do that level up to see if we can put it towards something building wise. So what we're really going to shoot for building is the local leader. We need 14 to get to number two. We've already got that. We've got scrounger, gunslinger. Yeah, let's go for some strength, because then we can carry more. And that also opens up availability for the strong back one. A fishing rod, a radiator. Boy, this room's a mess. But not bad. We can do something with that. Another house. A lot of stuff. Not a bad living room setup. We can leave that for the most part. need any of that. I can reset that up. Hey, Sturgis. Ugh, gross toilet. A gun? Makeshift bomb. Disarm that. What do we got here? Ooh, take all that stuff. A terminal. Sanctuary Hills. Pietro. Totally high strung and needs to relax. I keep telling him that offering to help, but so far, no dice. But looks like the guy is self medicating with pie. <laughs> Baker. My favorite tinfoil hat wearing nut job. Good for seven ampules a day tripper a week. Guess he's a one of one a day kind of guy. Whatever helps the man groove. Rosa. Still trying to get her some buff out. Didn't expect this rationing to affect this, but this it is what it is. He wants something called Psycho. I'm not sure this stuff even exists, and if it does, do I really want this Neanderthal using it? Guess it depends on how much he's willing to spend. I'll put some of the feelers out to my army connection and see where it goes. This guy's a drug dealer. They still owe me for the le yeah, yeah. If I ever figure out they're juicing up those dogs, we're going to have words about more than money. But we're probably beyond words anyway. I know they have a floor safe in there. I've seen it. Master bedroom under the dresser. Can't be that tough to crack. Okay. Concord. So he's dealing there too. And he's dealing to kids. Awesome. This guy's a piece of work. Some students. Well, 
I better look at the other ones just in case. Yeah. Miscellaneous. Charleston. Underwear model from Braintree. And she wants stim packs. <laughs> wow. Oh, let's grab the gun. Finish cleaning up. Medex. What is that? Oh, it's a lamp. I still may do some cleaning up in these, but for now we'll get just get the main stuff out of the way. I'll probably take care of all the fencing as well. I usually don't use the fencing that they put up, and I don't put walls up because the guys just show up anyway and come in through your walls, so I just make sure I have good defense everywhere. Yeah, that's nothing I need right now. Empty milk bottle. Uh oh, I heard that. I'm gonna get my weapon out for him. Who's shooting at him? Ah, June. Nice. He's actually guarding. So I guess he does have a gun. Let's make sure there's not any more in here. Sounds clear. Get rid of that gross toilet. Busted up chairs. Keep the good ones. What the heck? Hmm. So we got a cigar here. Nuka Cola Cherry. Nice. Stim packs, heck yeah. This is in here. Bobby pins and a bowler hat. Let's go take a look out back here. Look at all our junk. leave it for now why not board settlers can have picnics back there <laughs> Too bad. Don't need the trash can since it's obviously not being used anyway. And 
this is... Is this my house? Yeah. Break down all that stuff. What's that? Bottle? Don't need that. Hey, hey, hey. Look what we got here. Grognak. Heck yeah. Busted up patio set. Okay, so we set this one up already. We did come in here, but I can clean it up a little. Cap stash, there we go. Take all that. Busted up bed, they don't need that. Look at this, got a grill in this room. That's awesome. That's not a fire hazard. <laughs> or the weed whacker. What was going on in here? Ooh, ammo box. 38 rounds, take those. And let's bust the rest down. gross toilets. And I remember because in one of my first messings around with these settlements, I was actually then going, you know, you need to wall these all in because I thought if you walled them in, people wouldn't get in. So when I was walling this in, I found a little hidden place back here. People have probably seen it before, but it's a nice little loot room. I mean, look at all this. Got a bed. All sorts of stuff we can take. Grenades, nice. Yeah, look at all this stuff. It's a gold mine. Can't get in the lock, so now there's one to remember to come back for. Honey smacks. Guinness. Money. Moon pies. Got some beans. Yeah, look at this place. How awesome is this early on in the game to find this? What's up, boy? Good. I don't think we can craft in here, can we? <laughs> no. All right, let's get out. It's getting dark, but that's okay. We're just finishing up cleanup stuff. mess. It's gonna say everything but the kitchen sink, but there's the kitchen sink. <laughs> oh, I could have kept that chair. That's okay.
That is one hammered looking bookcase. Leave that in case someone has a kid. A lot of stuff in that one. Bust this place down. See how simple that was? <laughs> Just tear a house down in one button. It's so darn easy. Cool, we have cleaned up a ton. I think it's time to go grab a night's worth of sleep. So we can get some daylight going out here. Much better, look at that. Another beautiful day in the wasteland. So now we have cleaned up most of our garbage. We've got a nice little platform here to start building on. So let's see what we're going to do here. Now, if you haven't checked out my settlement builds, I have a really long, I probably should have edited it down, but it was one of my first ones when you're like, oh, every shot's so, so amazing. I got to keep them all in there. So I have a, a whoa, look at the dog. <laughs> but anyway, I think to people that like those and are you expecting something totally different, I am going to change it up. But for the base part, I think I'm going to use some of the kind of ideas from it because after you make a huge settlement like that one there was a lot I loved about it and then there was stuff I hated about it and this will give me the chance to take what I liked from it and take what I didn't like from it so I'm totally open to what you guys want to see so please 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 let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions of things you liked from that one or didn't like from that one or things you've done that you want to see me do here so but we are going to start off with a building here that connects to this here to give us one big building here. I really liked that last time, so I kind of want to duplicate at least the frame of that building. And I'm trying to debate. You know, I can use these really cool... Like, these these are all modded, and these give you some amazing floors. But a lot of them that look good, the ones I like, are like steel. Steel is fine. Concrete, that's the one. I just don't have a lot to build with. So we're going to keep this to wood and steel. I love this steel one here, so I think I'm going to go with it first. Let's see if we can line this up in the corner here. Oops, you know what? I just realized that's the foundation. That's the wrong one. That's the one I'm looking for. Looks good there. Looks pretty good there too. Let's go ahead and see how it lines up. I'm going to go to the wood in the middle. And then do another steel on the end. Wow, that puts us way off from there. Do I want to line up on the front? Or the back? Let's try to... Kind of split the difference. And actually, I want to bring these over some more.
There we go. Does that start to overhang? Yes. Ah. Uh, it's close. It's close. But it'll look horrible when your building's hanging off the edge. Doesn't look so bad now, but once you make a three-story building here, that's better. That's better. So let's go steel on the outside. And our wood on the inside. I love this dark wood one. And that steel. I mean, look at that. How cool is that? Seriously, that corrugated steel and then that. That's awesome. Now, I am. This is the part where you try to move it across. So we're going to take this guy, place him out of the way, get rid of these bricks. And then let's extend this floor and see what it looks like. Now, I can use the foundation ones. Let's look at the foundations and see how they look. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Yes, that's what I'm hoping for, is that it gives you that one extra there. So we got to move this guy since it did. take out your fusion core or always get back in on accident <laughs> try this again take your fusion core then nobody else can steal it would have just stored it, but that's one I don't use very often, so. Come on, give me one more right there. Why not? Come on. Yeah! <laughs> go there we go and come on oh yes it almost never gives you that one you just gotta fudge these around sometimes look at that I mean look at that seriously isn't that cool it's just one big room and it'll connect to this house so this is all gonna be one area and then the workshops protected Clean up all this junk. Got a toilet in my front yard. How how does that look to to your neighbors? Nasty old toilet sitting out in your front yard. Okay, so now for walls. I think what we're gonna have to do is just go with the basic wood walls now, and then down the road replace them with modded walls if we want. Well, it depends. What do we have for modded walls that fit material-wise? Concrete, concrete, concrete. Yeah, everything's concrete. 115 and it takes five. Well, let's see, I could maybe do the bottom floor in it. 
one. Let's see, we got a door frame here. We do. Does that line up? It does. Kind of. <laughs> Enough. Let's do another window here. And let's give us a window here and a door frame there. So we can get in and out easy. And let's just do the rest walls. like we're gonna have enough and this one we're just gonna place there and then I'm gonna console code this where I want it So I'll just move it back until I see it start to, it's right there where it's getting absorbed. Pull it off and then just adjust it in there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now getting it right where you want it can be a little bit of a pain. kind of sticking through, isn't it? I dig that look, though. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's totally fine. So let's put a door on here. I'm gonna go with my mesh doors, gosh, uh, not mine, but my favorite. I love these mesh doors. Any of them that you can see through, I just it's a cool effect. There we go. Well, let's go inside so we can, and then I don't have to, there we go. And since we're in here, let's put a roof on it. We'll just use the standard one. Let me build right underneath it. Oh yes, it's even gonna let me enclose up here. Are you serious? How perfect is this? How perfect is this? Come on, squeeze one more in there. It wants to, I saw it. <laughs> Look at that. And then we need to plug this. Because that's not very secure at all, is it? <laughs> so... Right there. Gosh, I don't even have to console it in. It's just letting me 
Of course, look at that. You can fall and get stuck in there. That's fine. You don't even get stuck in there. They're an idiot. That looks so cool. The sun shining through like that. We've got windows. I mean, seriously, look at this. <laughs> this is awesome. So we'll move this. Just to clear up some room over here. Save this battery. Looks good with all the equipment. Move our little cooler. Can't move our light. Can't move our workshop. So, we do have a little bit of plant sticking through, but that is totally fine with me. How's this look from outside? Wow, that's awesome. And then we'll start building on this next episode. In my sanctuary build, or in my uh, sanctuary settlement video, I did a greenhouse here. And I actually think this time I'm going to put a building that has a greenhouse on the top floor. The, the greenhouse just wasn't it, it took up a huge building space but then it was just a, only like eight or nine plants so I think if I put that up on top of the building it's better better management then I can have floors below it of other stuff shops and stuff this is looking awesome I'm really happy with this A lot of this stuff, you have to place stuff down arbitrarily, so you don't know how it's going to build, and I, I've had builds that stuff places in the right place, and it's not on the right save. <laughs> so I'm happy with this. I think this is going to look real good. And this looks like a good place to call this episode. We got a ton of stuff done in this episode. We pretty much got the whole town cleaned up, got rid of all of the little quests that we need to do for beds and all that stuff got this big huge building you see behind me started up joined on to our main house so everything's enclosed and safe and next episode we'll start working on that platform to the other side of the house and see what we can build there so i think the next couple episodes will actually be standard fallout let's play we'll we'll put these in like every other or every other other episode so like two fallout let's plays and then one of these so I really had a lot of fun with this one. I hope you guys had fun too. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions for the build, let me know in the comments and I will get to those and see what we can do to adjust this to your liking. Don't forget I've also got my Skyrim Let's Plays and my Fallout Let's Play of course, and then other Skyrim and Fallout content. So leave a like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing. I really hope you do. It's I'm having a blast putting these videos out, so I hope you guys are enjoying watching them. Take care. Have a good day. We'll see you next time.